Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the TP-Link Amada Cloud. I didn't know they came out with the cloud controller until last week when I was working with a client. So what we'll do in this video, we'll get a cloud controller set up, I'll adopt a few devices, and we'll go over a few things like licensing. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links down below, and I will put some there for TP-Link gear. First, let's take a look at my traditional setup of the TP-Link lab that I have here at home. I have the TP-Link router firewall connecting down to one of the TP-Link switches, which is a PoE switch, which has eight ports for our PoE. And that connects to my OC200 Amada controller. The Amata controller would handle all the configuration for our TP-Link setup. But now going to the cloud controller, this is how it's going to look. We'll have my firewall connecting to my switch, the internet coming into the firewall, then all the management being done through the TP-Link Amata cloud controller. And you could also manage multiple different sites within this controller like you could do with Ubiquity. So I have my TP-Link router, switch, and access point plugged into an internet connection so it's online. To get the cloud controller started, we need to go to amada.tplinkcloud.com. We need to log in or sign up for an account if you haven't done so. I've already signed up for an account, so I'm going to enter my information and then log in. Now we're logged into the Amada cloud, and you can see I have no controllers here. If you had a hardware controller like the OC200 and you allowed it to connect to the cloud, you would also see it listed. But what we're going to do, we're going to launch a new cloud controller. So we're going to add a controller and you can see there's a few different controller types. So we have our cloud based, we have our hardware, and then we have the software controller where you could put it onto your laptop or one of your desktops. But what we're going to do is this cloud based controller and they do have something saying no more about licensing and we'll check that out in a minute. But first let's register for this controller. So I'll click register. And then it says you have successfully registered for the cloud based controller. We could set it up now or set it up later, let's do it now. It says, welcome to use Amada controller. We're gonna config new setup, or you could restore from the backup. Now we're just going through the initial wizard, and this is gonna say, set your name of the Amada controller. I'll call it Mac Telecom Test. I'll put in my location, which is Canada. You could set your time zone. I'm in Eastern time zone. And then we have this device account. And what this is used for is if you need to SSH into your devices, this is the credentials you would use. So I'll just call this test and then the password will be strong test one, two, three, four. We'll accept to the terms and then we'll press next. Step two is to add our devices and how we add them is by entering the serial number. If your devices were connected to another controller in the past, you need to factory reset them as they will show offline. So the first one I'm gonna add is my router and I will be blocking out the serial number. So the serial number is inputted, I'll call it router. You would see that the results is showing that it's online and it could find it. We'll now add my switch in. We'll call it switch. And you could also see that green check mark. We'll leave the access point and I'll show you how to add it when we're in the Amada dashboard. So now all we need to do is press apply. So we can see the results that it's importing and then the router is waiting to be imported and two have successfully imported because it's completed now. So let's press next. Now this is where we're gonna talk about licensing. For the cloud controller, we need to buy a license for every single device. So you could either do it one year, two year, three year, four year, or five year. I have signed up for a trial and I'll show you where to do that. To get the 10 free trial licenses, we go to purchase license. And this will bring us to a new subscription page where it says the Amada Cloud Service Licensing. If we scroll down below, you can see the free trial. I'm not eligible as I've already claimed it. If you need to buy licenses, you need to contact the TP-Link sales department. Eventually this will be done online. I did reach out to my TP-Link person. For pricing on the licenses for one year per device is $12.99, three years is $34.99, and five years is $49.99. And this is all in Canadian dollars. Now this cloud controller won't be for everybody. The license fees, if you have a bunch of devices, might cost quite a bit. Whereas if you just bought the OC200 controller, you could hold up to 100 devices for $99 USD. We now see my two devices, the switch and router in the license type. We have the trial license, which this will be good for 30 days. So we're gonna activate that. It's pushing us to step four, which is to configure our Wi-Fi. We're gonna skip that for now. And then it's telling us our summary. So we have one gateway and we have one switch. 
So let's press finish. This is just giving us an overview of the Amada controller. If you haven't seen it before, it's five pages. I've done some work with Amada, so I don't need to go through this. And then it's bringing up a page of what's new in version 5.6 which will tell us all the firmware updates. Now this is our Amada controller. Let's go over to our devices. We can see under our devices, I have my router and my switch. It's on 192.168.0.1 and this is also getting an IP from the same subnet. We can see that the status is currently configuring, so it's not fully adopted into the cloud controller yet. We can see the model numbers, the version of firmware, the uptime, and then we could see the license status. So it's activated, but the licenses are due in 30 days. Now to add an access point or maybe another switch into this controller, all we would do is press add devices. And here it would be the same step. We enter in the serial number of the access point. We see that we have the green check mark, which means it's online and I'll give it a name of AP1 and then we'll press confirm. We'd see here that the status is importing. So this will bring in the access point to our controller and the import has completed. You'd also see that this access point is adopting into the Amada controller and the router and switch are now fully connected to the controller. All right, AP1 is in the controller, but the license isn't activated. So we need to activate it here. It says assign cloud-based controller, purchase the license, or we could use our trial licenses, which it has taken two off from our router and switch and we're at eight. So I'll click on trial license and then press apply. The AP license has now applied and we could see it's due in 30 days. So now we could do all the configuration like as if we had an OC200 hardware controller. If we wanted to set up a new network, we'd go to settings and then we click on wired networks. From here, we connect to the LAN and then we create a new VLAN. This I'll call guest and we'll do it under the LAN interface, which is my trunk going down to my router to my switch. We'll give it a VLAN ID of 10, and then I'll give it a subnet of 192.168.10.1 slash 24. And then we'll update the DHCP range. At the bottom, we'll press save. Now we can see that that VLAN is created. We could also create a wireless network. So if we go to WLAN, we don't have anything created right now. So we'll create new wireless network. I'll call it guest. We'll have it broadcast all of the bands. We'll enable the guest network and then we'll put in a password of test1234 and press apply. So this will provision that Wi-Fi network to the access point. If you need to know more about configuration of the TP-Link Amata controller or firewall rules, I do have other videos on that and I'll put the links down below. Now say we wanted to get one of these devices off of our controller and unbind the license. This is how we would do it. We click on the device that we'd wanna unbind and then we click here where it says unbind. So this will take the license back and put it into our license pool. It says the unbinding times of the license are limited to 10 times. Are you sure you want to unbind the license? And we're sure. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna factory reset this AP1. I'm gonna connect it to another network and we'll set up a new site. We'll put in that access point into a site by itself. To add a new site, all we need to do is go up to the right hand corner where it says sites, click on the drop down menu and then add a new site. Here I'll call it Mac Telecom 2. We'll put on all this information and my username and password. Now within the Amada Cloud Controller, we could see both of my sites. We could see my default site and then we could see Mac Telecom 2. We'd see on the default site, we have a WAN plugged in, a LAN, and two connected devices. On the new site, we don't have anything connected. So I'm gonna click on the new site and then we'll go over to devices and then we'll add our device. Here I'll add in the serial number of the access point. We can see it's online and then we'll press confirm. Now we see the access point in our new controller, but the license still needs to be activated. So it's the same process that we need to go through. We'll click on activate. We can see that we still have eight trial licenses and then we'll press apply. That's gonna be it on this video of the TP-Link Amada cloud controller. So the positives would be the ease of use to set up the cloud controller and get devices adopted into it. The negative would be the price point on the license fees. If you had a bunch of devices and you need to apply the licenses to it, it would cost a lot. Whereas you could just buy a hardware controller and then adopt many devices to it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the TP-Link Amada Cloud Controller. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.